So we're going to a Halloween party tonight. I'm not going to have much chance to film, but I wanted to show everyone something really, really cool that even my solar installer didn't even know was possible. The other day we had to kill grid power to install some fuses. And I was like, oh, go ahead and kill the power. Everything will keep running. They're like, no, it won't. You don't have any batteries. It's going to shut off your house. I was like, go ahead and try it because I commissioned the system, not them. And I just want to show you that, yeah, the batteries aren't here. They're not hooked up yet because we still haven't passed the inspection. And I'm running solar assistant. And we can see on here, we have a 5,000 watt load and 5,000 watts of solar coming in right now. And there's literally zero battery. I just wanted to show you the, the neatest thing though. Let's go kill the power to the whole house. Or I could do it in here if I really wanted to, but I'll go outside, I'll kill it at the source. So let's go turn off power to the house. We're not even at solar noon yet, and I think I have three panels that aren't working. So that's six panels that aren't working since it's in parallel. And here is the big bad boy shutoff that we just installed. Killing power to the whole house now. Lights are on. Hot water heater is still running. The grid light is no longer on. And everything in the house is on and running on solar, unassisted from the grid and with no battery. So yeah, it's possible. Of course, if the clouds were to come over us right now, everything would shut off but just showing you a cool thing that is technically possible.